is back as tracks around the country start to reopen under all kinds of different restrictions. But the good news is we are on the track and turning laps. And in due time, however long that may be, we will return to what is going to be the new normal. I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this edition of Race Face Driver Updates. We have a lot to cover this week, including updates on Jesse Love, Grant Thompson, Connor Mozak, Caden Honeycutt, Brody Moore, Cassidy Hines, and Gavin Graham, all seeing action this past weekend. So let's get started. We first head west where we find Jesse Love, who was back at Marysville Speedway for the second straight weekend in the Cox Racing number 44 360 Sprint Car. The event was almost a complete repeat of last weekend, with Jesse picking up another heat race win and a top 10 finish in the AMA. Up next for Jesse, he will make his USAC National Midget debut at Port City Raceway in Tulsa, Oklahoma for Keith Coons Curb Akajanian Motorsports on May 22nd and 23rd. Let's now move down south to Pensacola, Florida, where we find the mobile missile Grant Thompson, who returned to Five Flag Speedway for the second race in as many weeks for some pro truck competition. He qualified on the pole and earned the right to roll the dice for the invert, and he rolled a two, putting him outside front row for the start. Grant quickly found a rhythm in his number 38 Kurt Brent Motorsports Chevrolet and cruise to a second place finish. He's off to a great start with two poles, a first and a second place finish. Up next for Grant, Pro Trucks at Chris Motorsports Park on May 30th. Caden Honeycutt participated in the Landon Castle's iRacing $10,000 to win one lap challenge at the Lady in Black Darlington Raceway. He first had to make the top 40 out of over 210 entries and he did that. Keep in mind, this event is a one lap challenge with the fastest lap taking home $10,000. Caden took the green and had an amazing lap going before he scraped the wall coming out of turn four. And under the strict rules, that contact nullified his time. Oh, so close. On Saturday, Caden returned to the dirt and is modified at Abilene Speedway where he started sixth in his heat and picked up the win. In the feature, he started 10th with the invert. He worked his way into the top five and with one lap to go, the caution came out and on the restart, there was contact with another car causing Caden to get shuffled to a sixth place finish. Up next for Caden, this Friday and Saturday at RPM Speedway in Crandall, Texas, where he will be in the number 72 for Jane Coon Racing. But wait, there's more. On Monday night, Caden returned to the iRacing Rowdy Energy Super Select Series at the Milwaukee Mile in his number 10 Next Link Ford Mustang, where he finished second in his heat race and brought home a second place finish in the feature. Connor Mozak was at Hickory Motor Speedway Saturday night in his number eight junior motorsports late model for twin 51 lap features where Connor notched a pair of 13th place finishes in his first race back since his third place finish in the Cars Tour opener at Southern National Motorsports Park. Up next for Connor, a Speedway on Friday, hopefully, and then definitely back to Hickory Speedway on Saturday. Cassidy Hines went micro sprint racing over the weekend at Fairground Speedway in Cortez, Colorado. On Friday in her heat race, she started fourth and finished fourth. In her feature, she started eighth, but dropped back one position to bring home a ninth place finish. On Saturday in her heat race, she started sixth and worked her way up to a fourth place finish. In the feature race, she started sixth once again but was shuffled back through the field against some tough competition, but managed to fight her way back to a sixth place finish to cap off two top 10 finishes over the weekend. Up next for Cassidy, junior late models at Madera Speedway on June 6th. 
Brody Moore saw racing action in the form of kart racing at Brandemere Speedway in Morrison, Colorado. This race would be Brody's first kart race in nearly three years. And get this, he knocked the rust off and picked up the feature win in the Junior 2 division. Gavin Graham raced at Auburndale Speedway in Florida in the INEX Legend Doubleheader. In the first feature, he started second, and while challenging for first place, the right front brake assembly went out, ending his run. The team went to work replacing the brake assembly and sending him out for the second feature, where he started second once again. He took the lead on lap seven and never looked back, cruising to a feature victory. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you have missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't miss Race Face Spotlight on Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. And if you're going to be attending live races, please be safe and follow the track safety guidelines. Don't forget to follow us on social media where you can keep up to speed with all your favorite race face drivers. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. So go out there, have a great race weekend. I'm Rod Wortham, thanks for watching.